Hey, welcome to the show. My guests today you say there are secrets that have gotten them into some hairy situations. Please meet Jay. He's ready to put the past behind him and move on. Jay, what is going on? Jerry, I'm 35 years old. My yep. girl, she 18. She got Wait, pregnant. you're 35 and your girlfriend's 18? Yeah. You know, it's, it's been a stressful, you know, six, seven months. Uh, she's pregnant. You know, I love her. I love my baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just found out we're having a little boy. Uh, we was going through the mall about a week or so ago. Yeah. And, uh, Shopping for baby stuff. Yeah. You know, just spend a little time. Yeah. And uh, we was walking past this little kiosk uh, hair thing in the mall. Yeah. And this girl, Jamie, you know, stopped us, you know, stopped my girl and was like, you know, let me do your hair, you know, trying to sell her products. What grade stuff. was she in? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, so we stopped, she, you know, doing my girl hair. Yeah. But she, she keep looking at me. Now, come on, I ain't no dummy, Jerry. You know, you know how females yeah. give looks and stuff. She's probably wondering where your hair went. <laughs> No, but uh, I'm noticing it, but I really ain't paying attention to it. Yeah. You know, uh, I got off work the next day, you know. You went back went, to the mall. Yeah, I went to the really? shower. Oh. I'm, I'm walking past this you little went... hair kiosk thing, you know. She's there. That yeah, other... she's working. And she, you know, she, Jamie stopped me, you know, like I'm about to go on my lunch break. And, uh, you know, come join me. I'm like, all right, bet. Just a friendly gesture, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, you, you're... So... There, there's no better friend than you. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, she offered to buy me lunch, too, oh, you know? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So we go over to the little food court. She ordered a little Chinese for us, so we eat. I told her, I said, you know, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. She said, well, me too. So we I know walked where... to the bathroom, Jerry, and, uh, she followed me into, you know, the little family restroom area. Oh, so a man and a uh, woman could go in. You know, she shut the door, locked it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I know what you're saying. Turn me, <laughs> turn me around. You know, undid my pants on me, Jerry. Oh. But uh, you know, I just, I'm just here to tell my girl. You know, you know, her friend was telling her some stuff, and uh, I want to tell her the truth. But I also want to tell her, you know, I want to break up. You know, I'm, I'm just not ready for this relationship. You're not ready for the girl no, that I'm, you got pregnant. I'm not ready for the relationship. Right. Well, why didn't you think about this? She's son. 18 years old. You got her pregnant. She's now facing this as a single mom, apparently. W what's she going to do? I mean, I'm a helper, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to turn my back on my kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't going to totally turn my back on her. You know, I just, let's be friends. You, you didn't know turn what your saying? back on the other one either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, so Lindsay is your girlfriend. Yeah. She's the one you're going to tell now. She's been outside the studio, so she hasn't heard any of this. But let's bring her in now. You'll tell her. Here's Lindsay. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. Nice to have you on the show. Are things not going well? Why aren't... I just feel like there's some cheating going on. Oh. Jerry. And, and what gives you a hint that there's cheating? My friend told me they seen... She seen them at the mall. All snugged up. Baby, you know I love you. I mean, we've been through a lot together. I know you sacrificed a lot for me. But, uh... No, I did cheat on you. With the, with the girl at the mall. Uh, I don't want to be with her. It was a one-time thing. Uh, but, you know, I feel like we rushed into this relationship. I just, uh, I, wanna, I want us to split up. You know, just remain friends. I'll be there for you and the baby. I ain't gonna let you, you know, do this on your own. I, I got it. Yeah, I just got to interrupt. This is, she's 18. You know, you kind of got to put your own needs aside right now. You, because you're the adult. I mean, isn't it true? Look, you're entitled to love who you love, but basically, 
you're the adult in this relationship. You took an 18-year-old girl, and she's pregnant now. And now, in the midst of this, you're walking away? I don't get it. I mean, I'm not walking away as far as Why? not helping her. Why? You know, I just, I'm going to be there for the baby. I'll be there. You know, uh, but I ain't going to be no dead, be dead. But, but you told me just a couple nights ago that you love me and that you're ready to be a dad and you're ready to settle down and be there for your son. And you knew how much I care about being a mom and how I'm ready to go to work and do everything. I'm living at a hotel. I done moved from state to state with you, just trying to prove to you that I'm committed to you. And now it's like, it's changing. I, mean, I don't want I don't want you to be in a, my son's life in and out. I don't want my son being confused. All I want him is to know his dad. If you can't respect the feeling that you're gonna have other females, and you don't need to be there. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Look when you cried about your son's ultrasound, because you missed so much of your son already, and now you're willing to walk right back out. And not only that, it's like you don't even care no more. But you're saying you love me all the time, and you want to hug up, but you're willing to put me and my son through this after I done did everything and laid it out for you. Listen, I'm Who's not the adult here. I'm, I'm from the <laughs> We did names together. I even told you about a month. You was having your little boy and how proud you were. And now I'm 18, Jay. I'm scared about the delivery. I'm scared about everything. I go to work. I'm trying to go to school. I'm trying to be a mom, a real mom in this situation. I don't want to be a friend with you. I want you to be a dad in my son's life. Unless you make me be out of his life, I'm not going to be out of his life. I still be there to raise him. You want me to come pick him up? I'll come pick him up. You're not getting what you I'm saying. You need something you're for not him. Getting See, this is what I'm talking about. You want to continue listening. talk, talk. No, you're not. Jay. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we go through night in and night right, out. Because I do everything for you. you. I'm home, trying to sacrifice. You come home from work. You come home from work. All you want to do is take a shower and go to bed. I am you pregnant. You don't want to snuggle. I, you don't want to watch a movie I am with me. Pregnant. Because I'm, saying, I'm going to work, night in and night out. I'm going to work, but going I told to school, you, you don't have to being go to a work. real mom that you should be a real you dad, you and you really step out my son's life over nothing. You don't have to go what to work. What does that girl have to offer you? You don't have to go me? to work. Forget her. I don't want to be with her. So, it's well, something that happened. I can't take it back. So, so you okay? So, because you can't take back your rights. So you're willing to give your son up? We don't pick names out, Javani. Well, I'm not you, giving them, you, did you think anything was going on when you, when you had your hair done and you saw them? I mean, did, was any flirtation going on then? Well, with the female, she kept trying to eyeball him, but I thought he'd be a real man, say, that's my wife. I mean... Now, who is Brooke? Is Brooke you, your man. girlfriend? That's my friend. And that's, that, that's your friend, I mean, and that's the one who told you about him? Yeah, because she's a real woman, like some people. Well, here she is, here's Brooke. I knew it, I knew it, that day I seen y'all at the mall.
Yeah. Okay, so here, hi. How you doing, Jerry? He, I'm fine, thank you. Don't here's, talk about nasty, girl. She nasty. I'll be here's that nasty all day. Okay, here's the question I have. On a serious note, you're working there at the mall, yep. you're working at the kiosk, mm -hmm. you do people's hair. Yep. Okay, good. You've got a job, Gosh, things are going well. Here comes this. Not the only day I got your man. All right, hold on. Here comes hey. this young woman. She's obviously uh, pregnant by her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that just be a red flag to any, any decent human being to say, you know what? He's all, he's out of bounds. I'm not even talking to him about this stuff. They're together. They're going to have a baby. Why would you even flirt with him? It don't make no difference to me. I'm going to do what I want to do anyways. I mean, he stepped out. You're not that kind of a he person. You don't out. really believe that. I don't give a damn what nobody thinks. I'm going to do me till the day I die. Believe that. <laughs> Okay, was this all, was this all worth it? I mean, you know, you, you don't want to be with her is what you Hell saying. no. So if he doesn't want to, <laughs> was it worth it to do all that and get in, in the middle of all this? Don't make no difference to me. What's going to happen here? What do you, you two talk? Well, Jerry. to be honest with you. Yes. Be honest with Jerry, you. Jerry, I ain't going to be with her or her. No, to be honest with you. I'll be there for okay, myself, but I'm going my way. To be honest, all I want him is to be a real dad and to step up and be a foster, a down, dirty bastard. Love you back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.